Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Today's video, me and my pup are going ice camping for some crappies. I woke up super late, kinda not the happiest about that. I was up all night tinkering with some snowmobile stuff, but um, we're excited to go. And uh, yeah, this is the current setup. All packed up. I'm gonna try to travel lightly today. That's light for me, by the way, but. The guest of the show, AJ. AJ, you wanna go camping? You wanna go camping? <laughs> AJ, you wanna go camping? <laughs> yeah, dude. AJ, good morning. Sit. Oh my gosh, you're such a good dog. We're gonna go camping today, bud. Okay, good boy. So this stuff is awesome for your dog. You put it on their feet underneath their paws. Where are you? And uh, easy. And they don't get snow in their paws. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, sit. Car right? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go camping. Buddy, what are you doing? Okay. <laughs> hey, Jake. Nope, nope, nope. You can't go back there. No. You do a side seat. Okay. All right, scooch over. Other side. Come on. <laughs> AJ, no. <laughs> right there. All righty. AJ. You say to go camping? Yeah. Buddy, you're all up in the frame. Okay, good boy. All right. We're back. You look at my phone? Okay, okay. Let's go camping. AJ, want to go on a car ride? Okay, let's go. Good boy. I love you. All righty, we're off. Let's go, buddy. Let's go camping. Good boy. She's packed. We are on our way. Filled up the snowmobile, filled up the car, got new propane. AJ's hanging out. And uh, this lake I'm going to, it's probably like, I don't know, 30 minutes away, not too far. The target species for this trip, for this overnight camping ice fishing trip, is crappies. So we'll see. Stay tuned. So today, the weather's gonna be like 46 of a high. That's pretty sweet. Snow's melting and uh, we're gonna try to get some crappies. I'm hoping with this warm front coming through. Well, let me say this first. I've ice fished this place a lot of times for crappies, jigging specifically, and caught a decent amount. There's always an old timer out there that uses three tip downs, okay? And while everybody else is jigging, this guy absolutely smokes them. So I said, you know what? I'm calling up my good buddy, Neil. Got him on the phone. I said, get, get your tip downs ready. I'm borrowing those things this weekend. Because I need to test this theory because this guy crushes fish. So hopefully he's not there. Because that means that he'll be crushing the fish and I won't be. But... On another note, this lake, I have never camped on one, ice camp I should say, and number two, I've never fished it at night. So with there being a lot of crappies in here, I got the glow ring on the Vex. I'm thinking we can put a pattern together, connect with something at least. Maybe some big walleyes. My buddy did catch a giant walleye out of here. So there's a lot of unknowns, but it's going to be a beautiful day nonetheless. This guy almost hit me. How you doing? Smoke cigarettes. The only thing I am nervous about, not nervous, but it's my fault for waking up later. With how nice it's going to be outside, how many people are going to be in this spot. It's kind of a community hole. Hey, buddy. 
Okay, good boy. You know, camping? Yeah. You know what's that out there? What's that? Good boy. Just got to my spot, and there's probably like 40 or 50 people there, so number one, no room, and two, highly pressured, so I think we're just gonna go back home and go out like 4.30, 5 o'clock. I just hate to set up. Then you're all set up, and then you wanna move again. You know, I just kinda wanna get set up and then be done with it, and be in the right area. I did try, uh, did check out a different lake. Same situation, that's on me, for sure. I woke up late, but. Let's try this again. We're going back to the lake. See like right there? Tons of people. Whoa, they may even be ice camping tonight. No, I think it's just a big party. Let's go, come on. Let's go. Cozy. Only two trips this time, not too bad. Right next to an aerator, we're safe. Hey, there's my buddy. And uh, we're gonna do some fishing. Made sure to bring the carbon monoxide detector, that we were good. Now the setup process. Hey buddy, we gonna catch some crappies? Let's get some crappies. Yeah. Well, everything's set up. There's the kitchen, the heater. This is a tip down. I'll use that while I'm sleeping. And then this is my jigging hole. AJ's got his bowl of food and water. He's all set. The cot set up. And uh, probably gonna cook up some brats for one, or dinner, right? excuse me, but feels good to have made her to the destination and let's catch some crappie. All right, finally made it in the shack. Got some food out for AJ, put food in his bowl, put water in his bowl, and we're officially night camping. ETA, I actually don't know right now. I think it's like 7.30, 8 o'clock. Everybody's super cozy. At least we got some good lighting, um, but hopefully we can catch some crappies tonight using some glow jigs and uh, using some tip down. So I know for sure in the morning we'll catch some uh, some crappie, I should say, but tonight's more of an experiment, more fun just to get out tonight. Ice camp is kind of the high priority, obviously, but anything, any fish is just a, just a bonus. So I got this Dakota Lithium. I'm not gonna lie, this thing is so sweet. It's got two USB ports, a cigarette car lighter port, and then it has a positive and negative port to charge your Vexlar or anything external. And then it also has a light, which is pretty cool. So this is a game changer. And uh, yeah, we're chilling, man. Cheers. AJ, AJ, what's up, buddy? You a little cold. <laughs> We're getting warmed up here, slowly but surely. No fan this time. It's really warm out though, so. Cozy, cozy. Marking some fish. And nothing on the tip down yet, so hopefully we can get some action with that. I do like this Clam 400 hub, or sorry, the X400, it's sweet. Enough room two people for sure cool okay so some of you may not be familiar with nighttime fishing pretty much right there that's a glow ring you can purchase baits well technology nowadays is crazy but you can purchase baits like this spoon i have you can hold it there for i don't know 
it can only hold the the glow for so long but you just stick it in there hold it for i don't know 15 to 30 seconds and you can see it's hard to tell but i mean that was white now it's it's glowed up really hard to see but um here i'll turn off the light to give you guys an example so let's turn this off so crappies really, really like glow jigs or panfish in general, burbot too. Um, so as you can see, I've got my flash on, but that thing is really glowing. So we're going to try to catch some, some crappies and uh, stay tuned. Let's try to catch them. All right, so I got some cheddar, better cheddar brats. My cookies up, man. Pretty stoked. This is the setup. A little bit of a mess, but here's my buddy. Hey, AJ. Hey, AJ. AJ, look at me. How are you doing? Oh, you're a good boy. Good boy. Love you, buddy. All right, let's get cooking. Got some brats going. A little smoky in here. Got the doors open. As expected. AJ, you want a brat? Oh yeah, buddy. And then do you have the carbon monoxide detector in here? Always gotta have that. AJ's got his bed. Sweet, man. Very cool setup. Boom, that is good. Some cheese in there, hey, get out of there. What are you doing, lay down, lay down, lay down. Good boy. A little smoky in here, but we're gonna try to catch some fish. AJ, have you been a good boy this trip? Hey, you want a treat? Okay, good boy, good boy. my pup. AJ's just hanging out, chilling, being a good boy. Put him right next to the heater so he can stay warm tonight while I fish. But nice and cozy in here. Excuse me. Can't wait for some coffee in the morning. Ooh, that's gonna be good. You know, I didn't bring my giant water jug thing. I bought that from Walmart. I don't know how much it costs, but much easier to transport them for like a couple day trip that that's what you want so I'm learning as you go good boy first time ice camping it has been camping before but never ice camping so he's a good dog man I love this dog good boy oh yeah such a good boy he's comfy man Let's get some fish. So, really hard to tell, but down here, there's a lot of interference, and usually that will be more clear, and I'm still messing with the settings with the FLX30, but I think because of it being at night, all the zooplankton and all the, the bugs, if you will, are active at night, and that's what's causing this transducer to freak out. I put it on low power mode and high power mode, but... I'm still learning it, and plus it's my first time really night fishing, so I've I've heard of this happening, so we'll get that figured out, or try to. The goal is to catch, to catch excuse me, some suspended crappies, but I do have the, the tip down in the money zone where all the clutter is, so yeah, it'll be interesting. Let's, let's see tonight. So right now I have two tip downs in, and if you're not familiar with what a tip down is, essentially there's a live minnow on each of these and it does all the work and when you have a fish this will go down so I don't have to do too much work I can just chill in my bed hang out and then when that goes down that's when I have a fish so 
I got rosy reds, some fat heads on there. So hoping we can catch some crappies, some walleyes, who knows? So cool setup. Tomorrow I'll have three of those out and uh, we'll go from there. Well, tip down went down. Thought I had a crappie when I set the hook and then I'm like, oh, this is getting bigger. It's a walleye, but just a big old long pike. Sweet. Look at that hook out. AJ, AJ, what do you think about that? Huh? What do you think about that fish? What do you think? <laughs> He's like, all right, <laughs> get him back. All right, we'll get this guy unhooked. And uh, first fish of the night paid off. Sweet. All right, guys. Well, first fish of the night is a long skinny pike. My hair is nuts. I got a fro going, but sweet all right let's get this fish back awesome all right he choked the rosy red so let's get him back okay okay my friend oh jeez oh jeez oh, okay all right all right we only caught one pike so far tonight had a couple follows probably crappies but they didn't commit i don't know i didn't really try changing too many baits but i got two tip downs in i'm probably gonna hit the hay tonight and uh open to harvest some big crappies tomorrow morning so yeah i guess i'll see you guys in the morning good night peace just woke up it's like 11 30 at night Still nothing, just one pike tonight so far. So still good to soak some lines while I'm sleeping. I was hoping for some more action, but you know, it's all a, a learning experience. It's my first time fishing here at night, so. It is the next day. Hey, good morning. Good morning, buddy. How are you? Oh yeah, you tired? Oh my God, what a good boy. Oh. So. No fish other than the pike last night. Just kind of a bummer. Stayed up till like 12.30, didn't catch anything. Especially jigging, I thought I would, but super warm last night. And uh, I think I'm gonna go back to bed. Cuddle with my bubba. Yeah, go dog, man. Alrighty, first crappie of the day. Alright guys, I'm marking them. There's my J. I got a couple so far, nothing crazy, but I'm marking. AJ, buddy, you want to go home? You want to go home? Yeah, are you soaked? Did you have fun at least? Yeah. Is it raining out? Okay, good boy. Worst part is packing up. Especially when it's raining out. We're almost done though, can't complain. And uh, let's go get another one. I'm currently on my way home. Figured I should film an outro and just do a recap of my trip. You know, fishing wasn't really what it was supposed to be. 
there's a full moon last night. There's a, some frontal conditions, some rain slash snow, and that usually gets fish going and uh, couldn't connect. I don't know, it was weird. Definitely a learning experience. I mean, I caught some fish, some local hot shots were out there who I talk to all the time, and I mean, they, they didn't catch many either, which made me feel better. They said that the frontal conditions and that full moon should have gotten something going, but it didn't. So nonetheless, had a fun ice camping trip, and I appreciate you guys watching the video. I hope this is entertaining for you. This is, uh, this is stuff I do all the time, so I'm like, might as well film, you know? So do me a favor, subscribe, hit that like button, please. It gives me the motivation to keep making and pumping these videos out. And uh, yeah, it was a great ice camping trip, camping with my dog. AJ, it was his first time ice camping. He's a good boy, so yeah, fun. Now uh, time to set the alarm clock and go to work on Monday, so. Yeah, subscribe, like the video, and thanks for watching. Until next time, DYKB out. Peace.